If anime has taught me anything, then I should trust in the cards. I believe in your words, Yugi. I'm all in. Right. Hi everyone, I'm Norinzio, and in this video, I'm going to talk about two casino games on the PSP. The first game, Hard Rock Casino, is incredible. Not only that you get 15 casino games, but there are some nice touches to the game that make it stand out. You get a character creation tool and a story. The story is barely present, but at regular intervals, there are story elements. And the game has a nice progression, and having a story in a casino game is a nice touch. You don't need it, but when you get it, it makes the game better. As for the gameplay, it's very basic. The games aren't flashy, nor have unlockables, you just gamble. You get achievements in the game, but they are based on luck. It makes sense if you think about it, considering that it's a gambling game, but this is a drawback. This is THE drawback of the game actually, since everything is based on luck and how the AI decides your winnings. You don't feel like you are doing anything in the game, other than just pressing some buttons. But on the poker games, on the other hand, being a game of poker, you feel like you are playing. The poker game is pretty basic too, and is a little rough around the edges, because you don't feel the expressions on your opponents. Overall, the game is incredible, if you're into casino games of this sort. You get what you would expect from the game, and more. The game feels like a complete package. It has a lot of casino games, including poker, slot machines, and different variants of table games. It's incredible. And Payout Poker and Casino goes even farther. You don't get a story anymore, but instead you get a deeper character creation tool. And Free Roam. There are four casinos in the game, each with a different theme, and you can free roam around these casinos. There are around 11 casino games to play, and around 6 different variants of poker. And by winning stars, you unlock the other casinos. And here not only that you get to see a different setting, but the opponents in the poker games are tougher too. And the effects are good looking for a PSP game. And as a conclusion, both games are very basic in gameplay, and aside of the card games, they pretty much revolve around pressing buttons and waiting to see if the AI decides if you have luck or not. But if you're into this sort of games, then you will like them. And for a casino game, and a casino game on the PSP, the games sure are amazing. They aren't just thrown together for a cash-in, you can see the effort put into the games. Sure, they are basic, but considering the source material, the game developers threw many things to make the games of a good quality. And I think that casino games would feel basic in real life too, if there wasn't any real money involved. I mean, the gambling with real money gives the thrill in real life casinos in the first place, and having the impression that you were so close to winning and that with the next bet you can get rich is what starts the gambling addiction, not the game itself. And you can see that in this very well executed casino games, that when there's no real money involved, the games themselves are boring. Ok, so this was the video, if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section, you will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord, and if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.